Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm glad you made it here. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that button and hit the ding-dongs for all the notifications. I got something super awesome and unique today. We are going on a ram hunt, y'all. And we do have a sponsor to power us through this adventure today, so let me go ahead and introduce you to World of Warships. World of Warships came to me, they hooked me up with some sweet codes and let me start playing at a maximum level. It was like Game Genie back in the day for all y'all that are older than 30 years old. If you want to download the game for free and get hooked up with a bunch of freebies, use my code right down there in the video description. Use that code PLAYWARSHIPS2018 after downloading and you will get hooked up. You'll get 250 doubloons, which are in-game gold. 1 million credits, which are used for in-game currency. 3 days of premium, so you can earn more experience points and extra credit in battle. And a premium Campbellton warship that has great torpedo range and damage. And also at a port slot, you can increase your fleet capabilities. This game is based around World War II naval battles. And in the game, you'll command a massive naval fleet and have some of the most amazing, iconic warships. It's a high action game, but you also gotta use your brain, you use some strategy. There's also seven million people that have downloaded it, so there's a little competition out there. If you download the game and you see Iron LFG during gameplay, that's me. Fun fact, it takes six months for developers to make those ships from scratch to go into gameplay. It's kinda like this table. <laughs> Still working on it. If you've already downloaded the game and used a freebie code before, don't try it here because it ain't gonna work. They've got systems in place, they're smart. So thanks to World of Warships for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get out in the outdoors and let's hunt us a ram. It is quite early in the day, y'all. I'm sitting over here off I-35 at the Slovaceks and the Little Czech Bakery is on the other side of the highway. I think I like the little Czech bakery a little better, to be honest. Nothing like starting a Central Texas morning with a kolache, some coffee, and going out into the hill country to enjoy some outdoors. Right now, we're waiting on Mike to get over here, then we're gonna follow him out about an hour from here. The sun's gonna come up in about 45 minutes, so we don't have a whole lot of time. Probably not gonna make introductions just yet. We're gonna just get right into it. What up? You ready? Man, yeah, I'm ready, dude. Sounds good. First ram hunt ever, guys. Here we go. Hush now, hush. You're gonna scare them. I've never been on a ram hunt. Got no clue. We, uh, zero clue. There's one that I'd really like you to shoot. There's another one, and he's a giant, and he's got a limp. So, if we find him, that's the one you can shoot. And then there's another one called Popeye. All right, y'all. We're about to go on a ram hunt. From what I've heard, this is more difficult than what I thought it was going to be. Mike thinks we can we get it done with archery. That's always way better, in my opinion. Get your heart pumping. We're in the hill country. Um, there's tons of tons of mesquite trees and everything. There's a couple of really, really old rams and one just has a limp and he's kind of messed up that they just need to shoot them because you know they're gonna die pretty soon anyways. Some arrows on here. We'll get to spotting and stocking for some rams. This is gonna be fun, huh, y'all? You got your caps on. Don't worry. I'm a professional youtuber all right we are geared up ready to go me and mike are gonna go on foot yeah Side of him, yeah. 
Actually, give me a chance to calm down for a second. Oh, you could hear that broadhead just whoosh, yeah, open up, split his shoulder blade. Dang, that was cool. That was cool. Man, that's my first time ever spotting this dog. Really? Yeah. <sighs> Dang, that's awesome. We got the one we were going after. Uh -huh. Everything. in the heart man look at that ram man that's a good one dude, mike what do you think dude he's a good one look at that that is beautiful man me and mike got some uh some sweet pics of the first ram he's gonna help me cape one of these out i think i'm actually gonna do a shoulder mount with this guy just because he's, he's pretty man it's so beautiful so something you probably don't often see on these hunting shows with these rams is the eating of the meat because it's not that great from what I hear. I wanna know if that's true or not. Me and Mike are gonna probably do some back straps. We'll try the best part. And Mike actually has a hookup down the road. Some people that make tamales, like some awesome tamales is what I hear. I'd like to try some of those, but I at least wanna try this ram and see what it tastes like because uh, I know you guys wanna see it. I'm curious. Don't wanna waste an animal. This one definitely needed to be uh, taken down. He's getting later on in his career. Had a, had a shoulder injury early on. Not sure how he got that. Probably chasing around those girls with those big coins he's got there. Let's go clean this guy up, Mike, and let's see what he tastes like. Awesome. Oh, sorry, bud. Oh, come on, buddy. <sighs> yeah. 
see how you want to play with that, huh? Hey, y'all, we have made it over to the cleaning station. Look at this refrigerator. It's a walk-in fridge, so you can literally take your meat after you get done cleaning it, you put it right in there and preserve it just right away. And we're going to start caping him. Mike's probably done a thousand of these. I'm going to show you guys how he does it. Going into this hunt, I was pretty much blind, guys. I had never met Mike before. And being a YouTuber and getting an invite from someone, you just never know what you're gonna get. The guy is awesome. He's just your total outdoorsman. He's been on so many hunts. He really helped me to get familiar with what the situation was gonna be. He was pretty much like a guide. Really reminded me a lot of myself when I was trying to get into the outdoor business at his age and being a guide. Mike is a really humble guy and I'm just gonna brag on him for a second. He makes these harnesses for binoculars and like I use mine for my rangefinder and my binoculars but it's a harness so it goes on your chest you can see me wearing in the hunt genuine handmade leather 100% made in the heart of Texas so they're super high quality they're gonna last a long time it kind of has a little bit of a Texas look to it awesome tool regardless if you're gonna be out hunting and you're doing a lot of glassing and things like that but if you want to get one from Mike I'll leave it down in the description where you can pick these things up. Because he's just a genuine, hardworking young man with an entrepreneurial spirit for the outdoors. And I respect that. Caping knife. So see how it's rounded? That right there is a caping knife. And you can get in around the eyeballs. Oh, I see. That's bigger than what I thought. It's gonna look good on the wall. That is awesome. That is a beautiful animal. Turn Basically it just follow the jaw line down. You can start with the horns, you can start wherever you want. I just usually get the lips taken care of and then move up to the horns and the ears. So you go around, sometimes you have to get in there and just see how it's just breaking that skin off. Yep, just take your time right take at your the time base. around the base and then what you want to do, same on a deer, go around the base and then you want to make a V from here down, here down so they can sew it. Dude, that's crazy. So that's for fighting. Yeah, that's what that's fat. for. The cut right there I just made. Look at all the fat in there. These guys fight all the time. The back of their head is loaded with thick fur and it's just this like ball of fat. Mike did an excellent job. I also learned how to do this around the eye sockets and around the mouth, so thank you very much, Mike. Let's get this guy in a bag, and you can definitely smell the ramminess. If Mike was a crazy stalker, he totally could have just chopped me up right there and thrown me in that freezer, but he's not.
is actually really good. I had this preconceived notion after hearing about it, that, oh, sheep's terrible, oh yeah, can't eat it, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm thinking, oh, it's gonna be nasty like an odd dab. It's actually not, it's actually pretty darn good. A little chewy, but other than that, it's, it's just good. chewy. Sheep on the grill, pretty darn good. I will. <laughs> uh, one of the fishing freaks that I ran into, Cage, today. He's down here. We're gonna go hunt some hogs on his land. He has never tried sheep, and he's gonna get on his first sheep soon on a bow hunt. He's gonna be put on one. So uh, I think this is good warm up, just to let him know that what what's coming. He's got some premium meats on the way. And I it. think this is a good warm up right here. Give it a whirl. How you feeling about it? Tasty. It's not bad, right? It's hard to chew. It's a hard little hard to chew, but it's not bad. It's just a little gummy. It's just a hair gummy. Fist bump. Hello. Okay, you're ready. You have the fuel of the ram now. So we have a general consistent consensus. It's not just me. It's actually good. It is time to head into the night and go after the hogs. Man, you know what guys? That ram really wasn't that bad. And I can't wait to taste them in some tamales. So that's it for today's video, y'all. I got me a nice Corsican mouflon mixed ram with some beautiful horns to go up into the treehouse. I got to meet a new avid outdoorsman friend named Mike that also loves bass fish, so we're probably gonna be doing a little fishing. And guess what? I have got some red light spotting stocking to do on some hogs and some fishing. So y'all go ahead and subscribe right here to the channel. Don't forget to hit the ding dongs for all the notifications. And I hope wherever you are, you're having a blessed day. And I'll see you guys very soon on the next one.